Good afternoon everybody, this is North Canada Prepper. I want to do a quick video on repair. Sometimes things happen and you don't have time to do it right, so you got to do it now. I had a cable that, well, this is what happened. Okay, so I went ahead and, uh, let me zoom in on that, oh that's good zoom, I went ahead and just spliced it together real quick and covered it with liquid tape, just to get me through the day, because I needed it that day, and this is fine, but I just went ahead and spliced the cable together, but I'm going to show you how to actually repair it, um, this is a shielded cable, so it's got two uh, things in there, two, two wires, a wire, a center lead and a shield, it's kind of like coax. So, I went ahead and off camera, because I wasn't going to do a video, but I decided to, to do one. And I just go ahead and snip the cable, I just snipped out the bad section. And now we're going to repair it. So, the first thing we have to do is strip the outer shield on this. You can either use a pair of, um, wow. What are these called? Wire cutters. Thank you. We can use wire cutters in this, or you can use a razor knife, um, or razor blade. I'm going to go ahead and use my razor blade instead. And I'll be back once I get that uh, separated. Number right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip it about. Just stab myself. Dang it. Knife safety, children. Knife safety. Practice it. Okay, I'm gonna cut this back about an inch on each side, and um, I'll get the next part of that. I'll be right back. All right, so I've cut this back an inch on each side, and watch out for these little tiny wires like this. They are like little needles that will stab the crap out of you later if you lose any of them, like that one. And I'm also be sure to keep the uh, the coax you or the shielding you stripped off there, because what I want to do after I put it together is I'm going to put it together and I'm going to slice this open and put that back around it, so the cable's not lumpy when I put my heat shrink tubing on there. So I want to make sure the cable looks aesthetically okay, because otherwise, if it was just for me, I would just twist it together, solder it, and call it good. Or should I say, you know, good. We don't want it to look like this. Uh, this is actually for the wife's laptop, so that's why I'm doing it. But it'll look good. But this will be this will put the cable back to pretty much the same size as it was before when I put the shrink tape on, so it won't look so bad. It looks like we got a couple more bites over here, but you didn't get all the way through it. I'll probably put some heat shrink on there just to protect it, but that's not broken or anything at this time. So if that focuses, yeah. Oh well. You figure it out. Okay, I'll be right back once I, well, actually I need to go ahead and, and separate these. The shielding, I forgot to do that online on camera. We're going to pull that out, and I'm going to twist these together. And then I'm going to go ahead and solder it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the shield on this a little bit, about, you know, whatever percentage. And then uh, I'll be right back once I get that. Pull the part and ready to solder. I'm right back. Okay, so we got everything stripped and ready to go. Normally I would tend each cable or each wire and then press it together and um, solder it and then put my heat treat on and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and twist these uh, individually like this and let them wrap up a little bit because I want to have some mechanical strength in the twist. So I'm going to let it overlap about halfway, and I'll show you how that is. I'll be right back with that. I'm going to go ahead and do it as best I can, so I need all my hands for the camera and for the filming. So, so I'll be right back. I'll go ahead and wire these together before I solder it. I'll be right back. Okay, now we have a good mechanical bond. In, in AC, this would be good. You use wire nuts, but in DC... You really can't do a lot of that because of the resistances and inductance and all kinds of good fancy words. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. And um, I would put heat shrink on it, but it won't fit back in the cable. But I will put some liquid um, liquid tape on it once everything's all done, which you can't really see there, but liquid tape. And go ahead and do it that way. And I'll use that to help glue the thing together, uh, the, uh, the, um, this, the uh, original shielding. So go ahead and get this done, and I'll um, get them back out. Go ahead and get that one soldered, and then I'll do the same thing with the other one, and I'll be right back after I get that one. I'll get them both done. I'll be right back. Oh, and when soldering, you want to heat the work up 
and then let the solder connect to it and melt to it. So you want the work to melt the solder so you don't burn up all your cables. And I would like I said, I would also put the heat shrink on here, but when I heat this up, it would cause it to shrink back there and be very hard to get and it just wouldn't go right. So I'll be right back once I get that soldered. Okay, so that's done. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put some liquid tape on there and let that set for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'll do the other one the same way and liquid tape that up. And then I'll slice this up and put it on there and it'll be pretty much just about just about right and flush. I mean, it'll be a little bump because it's a little bit more, but still. All right, and I'll be right back after I get that liquid taped up. Then I'll solder that one and I'll liquid tape that too. I'll be back. All right, so I got that liquid taped up. I'm going to actually go ahead and put some regular tape around there too. Uh, just to make sure I don't want the... Uh, the wire to ground out inside the casing so I'll probably do that and then I probably will not actually be using the uh, the sliced up cable here if I get that in view I probably won't be using this uh, to fill it up I'll just fill it up with tape and then I'll I'll do it around so I'm gonna go ahead and do that wrap that up then I'll solder this one and liquid tape it and then wrap it up too and then I'll go ahead and put the heat shrink on it, and we'll look at the repair after we're done. But let me just solder this together, and um, or wire it up and solder it, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so here it is. It's almost finished. I just got to tighten this down. It's a little bumpier than I planned, but things don't always work out. But it's mechanically sound and electrically sound, so let me just shrink this down. There we go. So now we'll test it here with the uh, the meter. Let me just make sure that everything works. I'll be right back. Okay, it's working. As you can see, this uh, oops popped out. As you can see, it's holding steady. Thereabouts about 19 and a half volts. So we're good to go. All right. So that's it, basically. Um, so simple repair, uh, it's mechanically stable, uh, it's not as pretty as I wanted it to be, I, I couldn't get the lead down inside the paper clip, I couldn't get the, here it is, it's not as pretty as I'd like it, but it's mechanically good, and this is what we had before, so it's a little better, a little more bulkier than I wanted, but whatever. I probably won't buy a new one until this one fails, if it ever does, or upgrade the laptop or whatever, but... There you go. Um, that's how you do it. So, when you have an incident like I did with any cable, it'll work. So, alright, please try to subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.